Hi everybody and welcome to my video on how to change chain and sprockets on a Aprilia Tuono. Today we're going to be changing the chain of sprockets on this Tuono. It's an Aprilia Tuono 13 plate. Um, just a couple of basic words about safety, and I'm sorry if I'm telling you how to suck eggs, but it's important. If you're using a paddock stand, which we will be in a minute, and also a ramp, just be careful that the bike can't fall. You want to sort of make sure it's secure and it can't fall over, because that will really ruin your day and your bike if it falls over. Secondly, regarding the chain, um, don't ever be tempted to rotate the wheel and stick your finger in near the sprocket. I know this is basic stuff, but people have done it, I don't know why and never ever under any circumstances run the bike up and put it in first gear and put your fingers anywhere near the chain because that will ruin your day and ruin your hand and be very painful I should imagine. The first job we need to do is take off the front cover and undo the front sprocket nut which may be very tight. Um, so we're going to put the bike in first gear and see how tight it is. It's three 8mm bolts. So I'll just get these off. This bottom one is a little awkward. But I don't think you need to remove the gear shifter. Voila! Um, there's a few different methods you could try and use to undo this. Some people say put it in gear and put a bit of wood through the back wheel. Um, I'm going to opt for putting it in gear and if I need to get someone to put their foot on the brake and hand on the brakes. So let's just see if we can get it undone. So let's see how tight this is. It might be really tight. Oh no, it's come undone. Before we remove the rear wheel uh, we need to um, split the chain. Now you can either use a, a proper tool, I'll be honest, the tool I've got is a cheap one and I broke it the last one I did. Or you can go the route that I'm going to go which is an angle grinder. You could use a Dremel and all we're going to do is we're just going to grind the tops off the, these rivets and then hopefully leave the side plate off and then the chain will be split. Just another word about safety, I know it's boring. You really want some sort of decent handwear, gloves and of course eye protection. Losing your sight ain't cool. Um, and as you can see, I've put some towels around where I'm going to be uh, grinding because I don't want any sparks damaging the bike. So let's see how we get on. Goggle up, glove up, and uh, poor old Jeff here is going to film him for me. I love sparks. I <laughs> love sparks. I think you might need some ear protection for this one. So yeah. let's do it. Okay, go for it. I think she's going slowly. Yeah, you can see it starting to. Yep, you've got it, mate. That's the top one gone. Oh, yes. So now, hopefully, we should be able to just pull that out like that. Look at that. Having ground off that link and getting it off, we can now pull the chain out. So I'll just. Uh, I've got it in gear still, might have been gear still. Yeah. Just pull it out nice and gently. That's the chain out, there we go, one old chain. 
What we've got here is the caliper carrier. Um, I think it will stay where it is, but just in case, because this bike's got ABS and the sensors are really expensive, it's only one seven mil bolt that holds it on. I'm just gonna, as a precaution, take this out and tuck it out of the way, just in case. He says, I'm going to just tuck that up around there. So now we need to undo the back wheel. 32mm, should be fairly tight, so let's see. Oh, there we go. That's falling out already, Jeff. Ooh. Maybe I didn't do that quite as tight as what I should have done. <laughs> I'll take the nut off. Always need to pay attention to any spacers that you might or washers that the wheel's got. That's it. Just pull the axle tube out. I brace the wheel. And then we just need to slide the wheel out the caliper. Mm -hmm. Great. There we go, that's the back wheel out. I'm going to fully remove the front sprocket and as you can see on this bike you've got like a, a washer with a little domed bit there and then just a flat washer so that's how that fits and that's the sprocket and you'll note that the shoulder goes on the inside. I've got no reason to doubt that how it shouldn't be as this is uh, only done 10,000 miles this bike. So, just in case you want to know, the shoulder goes to the inside, like that. This uh, sprocket is a 16 tooth. We are actually going to be upgrading and fitting a 15 tooth to this bike. Uh, apparently, Jeff's looked on the forums and they reckon it makes it more rideable. So, it would be interesting to see how that is. I might even do a video on that later on, once it's all uh, back together. Um, next, we need to talk about the drive chain guide. There's a little guide here that your chain runs on, obviously just to protect the swinging arm. So you just need to check for any wear on that and this one is actually in good condition. I will clean that up um, before we refit the uh, chain and sprockets back to the bike. Obviously if this was worn down, this bit in the middle, you would change it. Just going to remove the sprocket from the rear wheel. It's on a cush drive and all we need to do, it might be a little tight, so just wiggle it. Just pull it out and as you can see, that just sits in those vibrating rubbers. It's also a good idea while you've got it off just to check the condition of the cush rubbers. These are actually looking very good nick. Um, so now what we're going to need to do, I'm going to put this sprocket in the vise because we need to take this, this uh, plate off here. So what we need to do is we need to uh, remove the sprocket off this sprocket carrier. Uh, just to show you, on the back, these lugs that locate in the cush rubbers, there is actually a 10 mil Allen key because these are when you undo these nuts, these will spin. I haven't actually got a 10mm Allen key with me here today, so what I've had to do is improvise. So, what I've got is a 10mm headed nut, and I've put two nuts on it, and that will oh, it should enable me just to hold that enough. So, if you ever get stuck, you can sort of do something like that. And then you need a 17mm socket, hopefully, if I pop that in there. Hold that like that. Yeah, I don't know if you can just come over, Jeff, so we can just there you are, see. Put that in there, and then because I've locked those two nuts together, perfect. Clever tip. So we'll just undo those, and then we can pop that in there. undo these now. So obviously be careful that we don't drop this, which would be famous last words, because it's aluminium and it, I presume you could damage it fairly easy. There we go, that's just sprocket carrier, so it's just got a flange there that sits on your sprocket. So that's the old sprocket removed, it's 42 teeth, we've gone for the same 42 teeth. Um, Jeff's gone for a Rempful, this is aluminium, it's a lot lighter, as you can see the original sprocket is steel, and the new one Aluminium, and I'll tell you the difference is quite amazing. So we're going to clamp that in the vise. Just going to use a towel just to protect the, the uh, sprocket. Don't want to damage it if I can help it. And then 
then what we need to do is we'll just put that in, line our holes up. Now these uh, nuts that hold this on, according to the Aprilia service manual, uh, they could be used for up to three sprocket changes. And as this bike's a low mileage bike, there's no reason to suggest that it's had more than three sprocket changes. I think that would be a real problem if it had in its short life. And believe it or not, there's also a special order for doing these bolts up. Oh, this one there. So what we're going to do is just run these bolts up a little bit, just snug them up a bit. I'm not going to do them fully tight, I'm just going to nip them up. And then I'll show you the order. So I've got all the nuts just nearly nipped up. Um, basically we need to tighten them in a diagonal order. You're going to really need a torque wrench. Um, they're not that tight to be fair, they're 50 newton meters. And we're going to go in a diagonal. So we'll start there, we'll go there, there, there and there. That's one. So we're going to go that one now. Does it vibrate as well, that? Yeah. See the lights going from orange to green at that wrench. Let me come around this side. There we go. Hold on. Yeah, that's no, fine. Oh. I think I've done that one. Is that one I've got to do now? Just go around and check that I've actually got them all tight. One, two, three, four. Oh, there you go. That's why you always check. <laughs> 